call myself protoplasm, yogi protoplasm. And so they wonder, what is this word protoplasm? Now, Vandana brought one uh, uh, reporter, newspaper reporter, and in the first question he asked us, why do we have this name? Yogi you say and you say protoplasm, this is science that is uh, something, religion or something, and how do you combine these two things? I said, I put that name so that you may ask that question. <laughs> because I name myself Yogi Protoplasm. You are asking that question. What is this? Why? I want everybody to know about Protoplasm. But if we ask them to do, go and study 8th class and study Protoplasm, nobody can do that. But now, because I am named like that, they are curious to know. Why this Swami is having a name like this? And what does it mean? What is Protoplasm? That is the question that arises in their mind. And then I explain. This is my name, not only my name, it's your name also Protoplasm. And everybody's name is Protoplasm. We are all sister and brother Protoplasm. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how I explained to them. So it's, they think it's funny. But I could not show them. How to show them the Protoplasm and the cells? The big problem. Now we have solved it. It seems in, the, in this internet and YouTube and all that, they have got some uh, uh, fed things where they show the initial organism, Protozoa and also Amoeba. Now what do you see there? You see the cells. And is also giving a, an explanation. All organisms are made up of cells. And all cells are made up of protoplasm. That's what he's saying. And he showed next the protoplasm in the, in the form of amoeba. It is a single cell. And it is a jelly-like substance. That is protoplasm. And the same thing is there in the, in the paramecium also. <laughs> though it has got a particular shape definitely. And here there is no shape. And it takes any uh, type of shape as it likes. It doesn't have any of the organs as we see in the higher organisms, the different organisms, hands, feet, etc. They are there functionally, but structurally they are not there. And any part of that amoeba can become a hand or a leg. And it knows. But that is, it is recognizing the prey when the paramecium is there. And it plans and designs a method by which it can catch hold of it. And it is hungry, and so it wants food. And when it takes it, it grows. So all these things without any of the organs. Now I am telling here that you are all Satchidananda. And what is Satchidananda? Existence, awareness and bliss. None of these words have got a form. What is existence? What is awareness? What is bliss? You can't catch it. There is no particular form for these things. Nameless, formless being you are. You are Satchidananda. If I say like that, you will wonder how can I be? And what about my idli and coffee and all that? If I don't have a form, no mouth, no organs. You will wonder like that. But actually you are like that. Your body is made up of so many cells. And each cell is nothing but a bit of protoplasm. And if you want them together, structurally you are protoplasm. And that is demonstrated by this amoeba. That it is possible to be as a living thing, physical living thing, but without any other organs. And then going still further, nearer to the Satchitananda, we find that this particular body which is there is only an external thing. There is something inside, some mysterious intelligent power that is operating all these things. We don't recognize it immediately. But then, on closer examination and contemplation on this phenomena, then you will see that there is something intelligent, there, highly intelligent, highly knowledge, which is manipulating all this complicated way of higher life activities. Life activities are very complicated, but all of them are done by the protoplasm itself. You say the nose breathes. No, that's not correct. Lungs help. No, they help, no doubt. But they are not performing respiration. Respiration is performed by the cells only. Or all the cells are made up of protoplasm. Only protoplasm can respire. And you say, our mouth eats, stomach eats. Please give me food for the stomach. I'm hungry. But stomach won't eat. Eating means converting food into energy. That is why you say when you take food, you get strength. Where is it coming from? From the food. And it is broken down, that food. And energy is liberated. And this happens only in the cells, in the protoplasm. So who eats? Protoplasm alone eats. So what is growth? And you are explaining. When the paramecium dies, your amoeba grows. If it has to grow, it requires food. Now, so is in our case. And so you find that all the life activities, such as eating, drinking, and respiration, and reproduction also, 
one becomes the two because of omega. Because of human being is a very complicated thing. But basically it is the same. In the union of two cells, the male and the female. And then multiplication. Cell produces another cell. Exactly like itself. That means 30,000 genes are manufactured in such a short time. What a miracle it is. Genes are so complicated that it is very difficult to understand them, the structure and all that. And they took many years, hundreds of years to understand what it is. And as many as 20 Nobel Prizes have been awarded in the last 100 years or so for uh, uh, understanding different aspects of the gene. But who made it? That's the question. Nobody knows. And some mysterious power is there and spontaneously, nonchalantly it is produced. One cell becomes another. cell means 30,000 genes there, it is manufactured. Exactly similar genes. And it's happening in all the bodies in the, in the, in the living world. Small, big and so on and so forth. So the whole thing, when you looked at it, the picture is something fabulous, something baffling. Something, a great miracle is going on all around you. And inside your body and outside also, you know, the species. So when you take all this into consideration, you can see how great this Brahman is. Satchitananda Brahman is what is doing everything A to Z. A to Z. The evolution theory says that all the organisms have come from single cell organisms. Originally, there were only single cell organisms. Yesterday, you have seen in the video projection the amoeba, mm -hmm. amoeba, paramecium, and they are all single cell. But they perform all the life activities which we perform. It doesn't have a mouth, it doesn't have hands, feet, etc. And yet, you see, it is gobbling up the <laughs> paramecium nonchalantly, uh, without telling it. <laughs> Surreptitiously, it spreads one side, it becomes a hand, another side, this becomes another hand. And then it embraces, I love you, it says. And both, the fellow is gone inside. <laughs> no mouth. Yet, it draws it inside the body of that particular jelly-like jelly -like body. That uh, amoeba, I mean. And what is more astonishing, we are also like amoeba. But you don't know that. You see, the even cells, there are millions of cells, but every cell is a bit of protoplasm. If all of them are added together, it's the whole protoplasm and nothing else. And the protoplasm here also behaves like that. It performs oxygen, takes in oxygen, gives out carbon dioxide. And it digests food. It catches all the way, this uh, paramecium, and it mm, cuts the uh, DNA there and uses it for its own DNA. And uh, it cuts the proteins there and uses it for building its own proteins. So, very intelligent, this amoeba, I mean. And the fellow who is commenting there says, it has no brain. And yet, no brain means, what is brain? <laughs> brain, perhaps he thinks that it is cells, cells which form the brain here. <coughs> but brain means thinking. And mind is there for amoeba. Otherwise, how can it see and recognize that the food is there in the form of, uh, of paramecium? And then he knows how to plan, catch hold of it. Huh? It doesn't disturb it. That side it goes very gently. And another side, another hand comes. It says uh, the uh, permission doesn't know. And then it finally climbs, clubs together. Now how can it do, do all these things without thinking? And uh, there is a plan. Hmm? See, the procedure is very planned man, to catch hold of that particular permission. And then it drags it towards itself. And then suddenly it goes inside the body. And inside the body there are what are called vacuoles. And this goes in, into that. And there are digestive juices there, which digest gradually, bit by bit, the paramecium. The paramecium shouts, please help, help, no help. And the <laughs> entire thing is swallowed. Swallowed means, mean, at the level of molecules. You see how to prepare the onion cells. Very easy. So you have to take one feeling, one of them, and in that you must peel a small thing in the middle. And that thing has to be tried. We have to put it in the newspaper. Okay. All right, we will try it at the end. Because it will produce a lot of... So the onion is not like this. It appears like this for our naked eye. But actually, they are made up of cells like that. Millions of cells. Each one of them. And each one of those cells are capable of producing another onion plant.